If you're looking into building a new home or even adding on to your current home, you've likely come across the decision of what type of roof to choose for your structure. Two of the most common types of roofs in America are hip roofs and gable roofs. But how do they compare? I'm Thomas Williams with Colony Roofers and in this video we're going to talk about hip roofs versus gable roofs, what they are, how they differ, and the pros and cons of each. Hip roofs have existed in the United States since the early 1700s, since they were inspired by the architectural styles of Britain. A hip roof is a roof that has one horizontal ridge and four sloped sides on the top. There are several design variations of the hip roof, some of which are mansard, cross hip, hip and valley, bonnet, and pyramidal. Gable roofs are the most common type of roof in the United States today, and they have been being used on buildings since the early 1600s. Gable roofs have at least two non-sloped vertical sides, which are the gables, and at least two sloped sides with a ridge running in between them. Gable roofs are the roofs you see with a vertical triangle shape. Both hip roofs and gable roofs come with their own set of advantages and drawbacks. Let's start with hip roofs. Some of the benefits of these are eave consistency and curb appeal, stability as hip roofs are more stable and durable being that they have four sloped sides making them self-bracing, and finally they are a good solution for roofs with a lower slope because it allows water and debris to be shed more easily. So what are some of the drawbacks of hip roofs? First, they do cost more to construct than gable roofs, and the next drawback of hip roofs is that they offer less attic space than gable roofs do. If it, having a decent amount of attic space is something that's important to you, a hip roof may not be the best choice. The final drawback to talk about with hip roofs is that they can be susceptible to leaks if not installed properly. There can be problems around the seams and dormers of the roof, so it's important to hire a contractor that is experienced with these designs. So what are the advantages of gable roofs? Gable roofs are more affordable than hip roofs. The design is simpler, making them require less time, material, and expertise to install. Gable roofs also do a great job of shedding water, snow, and other debris. Gable roofs also require less maintenance than hip roofs. And finally, gable roofs provide a home with significantly more attic space, which allows for more storage and ventilation. However, what are the drawbacks of gable roofs? First off, they offer less curb appeal than a hip roof, although this does come down to a matter of personal preference and gable roofs are also less durable, particularly if you live in a place that is prone to high winds. So what are the differences between the two? Hip roofs and gable roofs differ in a few significant ways, and the ones we're going to talk about are their appearance, wind and airflow, durability, maintenance, environmental impact, water resistance, and cost. Let's take a closer look now. Appearance is the main difference between hip and gable roofs, of course. Gable roofs have flat sides that continue above the exterior walls of a home, whereas hip roofs show slopes no matter what angle you view the roof from, which some people prefer. Wind and airflow is another important difference to consider with hip and gable roofs. Gable roofs are very aerodynamic as long as the wind is blowing in the direction of the slopes and not the gables. When the wind blows against the gable, it exerts a significant amount of force on the home. Hip roofs are more effective at directing wind over and off of the roof no matter what direction it's coming from. Hip roofs are more durable than gable roofs due to there being less potential for uplift because of the multi-sided sloping. Hip roofs are also laterally braced while the trusses on a gable roof run parallel to one another. In terms of maintenance, hip roofs require more maintenance than gable roofs do. This is because there is more roofing material used and thus more seams on a hip roof. With more seams comes additional maintenance requirements to always be sure your roof is in good working condition. When thinking about the environmental impact of your roof, both hip roofs and gable roofs offer advantages. Gable roofs use less roofing material than hip roofs but hip roofs have less attic space, making them require less insulation. 
However, if you are interested in having a solar powered home, gable roofs are the preferred choice for this since they have nearly double the surface area of a hip roof for installing solar panels. In terms of water resistance, both hip and gable roofs are successful in shedding water. Hip roofs have the added benefit of not needing to worry about water being blown into the attic through the gable vents, and gable roofs are usually a steeper pitch and this makes them extremely effective at shedding water. And last but not least, let's talk about cost. Cost is a major factor in the difference between hip and gable roofs. Hip roofs are more expensive, costing between $34,000 and $68,000 on average, and gable roofs, on the other hand, typically cost between $25,000 and $50,000. Both hip roofs and gable roofs are a good choice for a home's roofing system. There are many factors to take into consideration, but it likely will come down to budget and your personal aesthetic preference. If you have any questions about hip roofs or gable roofs, please feel free to reach out to us at Colony Roofers. We have a knowledgeable staff ready to answer any questions you may have and help you make the decision for what's best for you and your home. Thanks for watching.